Hey loves, thanks for tuning in to CYB TV. This is Cherish. You guys, today is an urgent message that I must bring right now. Like, no preparation for this really at all. Um, I really just want to start out by giving a prayer right now because um, the time is at hand and we are in the last and um, evil days. And um, I was woken up out of my sleep around 2.30 a.m. today and um, it's just very urgent and the Lord told me there's no more time. You have to get this message out. So let's start out with a prayer, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you along with whoever is watching this right now. Um, we just thank you for another day. Thank you for waking us up, Father God. Thank you for your grace and your mercy upon our lives, upon our loved ones, Father God. Right now, I just ask that you allow the Holy Spirit to move me, Father God. Give me the words to speak, Father God, so I can get this message out to those who have an ear that wants to listen, Father God, and who wants to hearken to your voice, Father. We just thank you for all that you have done for us in our lives, Father, up until this moment. If there, who's ever watching this, I just want them to know that this is not by accident, Father. So please just impress that upon their heart, Father God. Give them an open mind. Give them an open heart, Father God. Let them be able to receive this message, Father, because it's coming from you. And I think that's pretty much it. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross for our sins so we may have everlasting life and build a relationship with you so we can make it to the kingdom one day um i just thank you in jesus name we pray amen so like i said i have no preparation you guys this is like no editing this is going to be raw um so excuse me lord um <laughs> say excuse me lord yes excuse me lord <laughs> excuse me you guys if this is just a little all over the place or whatnot um, but the Lord has been telling me to get um, certain things out for a minute but if you look at my channel I've kind of been in my a for probably about a couple years I just recently started posting some content and I'll have to do um, probably end up making this a series to be honest because um, a lot of events has taken place and I believe the Lord has been prompting me and preparing me to um, get certain things out and um, with that said um, this is going to be the first thing that I have to get out right now. So I was sleeping and I abruptly woke up, up around 2.30 a.m. like I was saying. And the dreams that I was having um, was about the last days that we're in, you guys. Um, it's happening. It's all um, going down. Okay, that's pretty much how I can put it. Everything um, that the Lord has prophesied to me, um, or I like to say revealed to me, like, revelations so God has given me certain revelations um about certain events that are going to take place and I'm trying to I'm going to try to run through this really quick because the word is around town that I talk too much at times you know I've seen some comments and things like that and I get it um if you just want to hurry up and get to the point that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to um go through these events that the Lord has given me on all uh, August, what day is that? August 18th of 2023. Um, it's um, kind of uh, vivid and descriptive um, when I had wrote, written these um, things down, okay? Uh, I believe the Archangel Gabriel, who delivers the messages of God, um, will to God's chosen people. Um, like he delivered the message on to, um, you know, Joseph about um, the birth of Christ <laughs> and to Mary when, you know, she was um, a child with Jesus. So at the end of the day, um, let's start out with um, the first main point. Um, between April 2024 through October 2024, the world will have a food shortage all banks will collapse except federal banks and there will be a chip 
mark of the beast that will be pushed on the people in order to buy and sell. Now, I don't really want to get too much backstories while I go through this list. So please grab a pen and paper, you guys, because I want you guys to be able to have this in hand so you can reference this for these coming dates because these dates are going to be over a period of, I believe, um, the next uh about 20 years okay so these events are very um uh like time stamped shall i say and i want to be able to give you guys this so you can have this um and yeah so between again between april 2024 october through october 2024 so when the lord told me to write this um or shall I say, Gabriel, um, that was delivering the message from God to me, told me to wrote this. It didn't give me specific dates. It just gave me the months and the time frames. Okay, so April 2024 to October 20, between April 2024 to October 2024, the world will have a food shortage. All banks will collapse except federal banks, and there will be a chip aka mark of the beast that will be pushed on the people in order to buy and sell uh, and it i just put right here the whole world will be deceived except about 4400 chosen ones and that's 4400 people in the out of the whole world you guys um uh, i know some people have different numbers like 44 uh uh thousand or hundred or forty four you know different numbers but I'm just going off of what I what was revealed to me and I'm sorry if I'm nasally you guys because I am just getting over I believe a variation of COVID um which I'm gonna go into deeper messages about that whole thing and about all of this you guys um uh, in the later episodes but um yeah so i'm just now getting over cold and after i read these uh events you guys again please just stay through um to the end because there's going to be some backstories and some other messages that i'm going to reveal that are not coincidences that is truly i believe sent by um the holy spirit um so you know by god so at the end of the day um you guys, if you have an ear, then let you hear. Be receptive, okay? Um, so the world, will, whole world will be deceived except for 4,400 chosen ones. Continued um, between March through October of 2033, okay? So um, that's about nine years from now, you guys. Uh, there will be a zombie apocalypse Everyone who have taken a COVID MRN, I know this stuff may seem outlandish. Who wants to be wrong? Who wants to be labeled um, something? I mean, I've been labeled a conspiracy theorist through, um, you know, for some time probably through family and friends and things. But um, like I said, I believe I've been open to um, being a vessel for the um, Lord to use me in any way, shape, or form that he may have me here for on earth. So if this is what it is, and if I have been chosen for a time such as this, then I am, I'm going to deliver this message. Um, so um, I'm sorry if this stuff seems like um, it's offensive or whatever, but it's not meant for that. It's just meant to um, help you guys um, realize where we're at and, and pretty much get a relationship with God, okay? Get a relationship with God because the kingdom is at hand and Jesus is coming back, okay, for, um, you know, the true believers. And, yeah, um, so, yeah, 2000, between March through October of 2033, there will be a zombie apocalypse. Everyone who have taken a COVID mRNA vaccine will be infected. Everyone who has taken the chip mark of the beast will be activated as zombies everyone who has been chosen will be caught up in the sky aka alien abduction so i've been hearing over the years you guys that people have been talking about alien abductions you know they they've been uh, putting this through the media and through uh, videos and, and all of this stuff for some time because there's nothing that is by accident, you guys. This stuff has been planned for decades and decades against the people, the people of God, the people that God has created. We have been under attack for decades, centuries, okay? 
So, um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do sub subsequent videos um, explaining this and leading up to pretty much this right now, the last of evil days. But um, there's not going to be an alien, alien abduction. So do not be deceived. It's actually going to be the rapture when Jesus is going to come and pretty much the people, the chosen ones, uh, the believers, the ones um, that are uh, been chosen to pretty much get taught um, by Christ and to come back and to help save humanity, like human, the human race. It's real, you guys. Um, yes, it's real. We are in spiritual warfare, okay? Um, we will um, be caught up in the sky and it will be a rapture, okay? So that's 20... 33 March between March and October. I don't know which months, but we have to be vigilant and watchful because the enemy seeks and roams around like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Okay, so we have to be mindful, you guys, that, um, you know, the enemy has he's very deceptive and very cunning, and and um, he has a way of just getting us off our, our um, A game, you know, and bringing stuff up on us like we didn't see it coming but that's why i hope this video helps in some way shape or form okay so now we're moving in uh that would be the start 2033 will be the start of the seven year tribulation you guys we've read about uh, in revelations i actually didn't write specifically um uh the verse but i did pull up a uh, verse that I will read at towards the end, uh, Revelation, it is Revelation 12, I will be reading out of, so, uh, is it Revelation 12? No, it's, sorry, it's going to be real, Revelation 13, uh, Yeah, it will be Revelations 13 that I'll be reading out of later on. So, uh, but that will be the start of the seven-year tribulation, you guys. So, um, in the Bible, it talks about there will be seven years of of a hot mess, okay? It will be seven years of war, seven years of just destruction and just pure, just um, agony and just a lot of uh, just... Uh, what shall I say, like disasters going on, you know? So this will be the start of that. Um, the people that have been abducted, or shall I say, um, raptured, taken up into the sky to be taught by Christ, um, won't be affected by this. But the people that have not given their life over to Christ, has not accepted Son um, Jesus as their Lord and Savior over their life, and um, have received uh, the Holy Spirit and have believed, you know, um, that God, you know, is the true and living God, uh, they will have to deal with this. And, um, so I'm going to just tell you guys these details. I can't, I'm shaking you guys. I'm really nervous because this is, whew, not that I've been trying to put it off for some time, but the Lord's been prompting me and telling me all of these, um, revelations and stuff for, um, since before the pandemic hit. So, yes, I said pandemic, but um, so here's the thing. The 4,400 chosen will meet with Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus Christ. That's what, you know, a lot of people know him as, but it's Yeshua. And will be taught about the war on humanity by man-made machines, robots, terminators, etc. Also, there will be instructions uh, that will be given uh, to what we will do to help save humanity in specific groups of people, kind of like Noah's Ark, okay? We will come back with superpowers, supernatural powers, okay? I don't know if you guys have seen um, some movies and shows or things like that that have depicted uh, the rapture and things like that. Some of them have completely was just mocking and just making it as a joke. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's real, okay? Um, a lot of times they like to downplay and when i say they i'm talking about uh, the evil rulers of the world at times they like to uh it's called propaganda tell us what's happening or going to happen through movies music and um uh, uh, billboards ads through news through any other outlet but instead of just telling us the truth 
you know, because that's the devil. He's uh, deceitful, so he's not going to tell you straight up what's going on. He's not going to tell you exactly how to uh, be prepared, right? So he's going to catch you off guard. So through these movies, things like that, that we've been seeing for years and years and years, they're actually telling us things if we listened closely um, and if we are definitely um, connected to God, the most high, and have a relationship with the Lord, uh, the Lord will start speaking to you and revealing these things to you in, in a spiritual light and the veil will be lifted off your eyes and you will be able to see things for what they are, which is spiritual things, okay? Uh, just like I like to say, um, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but of principalities and wickedness and um, the dark <coughs> of this world, okay? And so at the end of the day, there's no coincidence that it says the dark rulers of this world in that passage. Um, so it's not the, the flesh, it's not the body that we're wrestling with. It's the spirit within. The um, you either going to have the Holy Spirit or you're going to have the Satan spirit, okay? You, you, Whichever one, you got to choose a side, okay? Good, bad, right, wrong, period. Like, that's just the reality of it, you guys. Um, we we like to water down some things sometimes and look at it. It's like, oh, it's not really that. No, it is really that. It is serious, you guys. It's, it's time to rise up, okay? Especially the chosen ones. So um, let me reread that again because I know I'm kind of, you know, interjecting but the 4400 chosen one will be with yeshua aka jesus christ and will be taught about the war on humanity by man-made machines robots terminators etc so yeah the terminators movies yeah anyways i heard the lady the lady speak that created the terminator and uh, the matrix and stuff and yeah check that out look it up on tiktok and all that stuff but um it's out there um she's supposedly from the future also, um, we will be given instructions that will um, help save humanity in specific groups of people, kind of like Noah's Ark. We will come back with supernatural powers. We will fight off the enemy and spread the word of God. The whole point of us coming here to earth, being born in the flesh, just like Jesus was, is to come to keep God's word alive. That's the reasons. We're not here for our own selfish desires. We're not here to please our flesh. We are here to do the Lord's work. We are purposed here for to do the Lord's work. We have free will. Thank God. God gave us free will because He that shows how just and loving and kind he is he doesn't want to us to be forced like the evil rulers of this world is trying to do force things upon us and force us to worship them to worship their idols to um do what they tell us to do which is not good it's not of god okay so thank god gave us free will so we could choose him and by us choosing him through our free will then we can have everlasting life okay we can be accepted as a child of his and into the kingdom okay the kingdom of heaven so we have to uh, uh be willing uh through our free will to choose god so we can receive the will of God and the way we receive the will of God is by knowing him having a personal relationship with him the father son and the holy spirit okay those three the trinity we have to have all three in order to uh, receive the kingdom of God so uh, it's like it says in the bible we cannot believe in God and uh, we don't believe in Jesus that literally walked the earth but we also don't um, you know we haven't seen God. So how are we, uh, as a believer, saying we believe in God, who we've never seen, but this man that was born in the flesh, that had the spirit of God, Jesus Christ, that never sinned, you know, was perfect, um, risen, that has risen on the third day, um, that's died for our sins and stuff and all that, so we can have a relationship with God, who its studies have shown and scripture has shown that he literally walked <coughs> Ooh, the devil's alive but he literally walked this earth and um yeah so we have to believe it all three but you guys this is the 2033 will be the start of the seven year tribulation uh, once we come back it's the chosen ones who've been raptured come back to spread the word of god um when we come back the seven years is comprised of three, of two different parts. Three and a half years of peace, 
followed by three and a half years of war, okay? So after the alien abduction or the rapture, shall I say, um, we're going to have what it seems to be uh, deceive, deceitfulness, right? Um, three and a half years of peace. But then boom, three and a half years of war, okay? So, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. That is not even part of that. That is the next thing. But um, but yes, after the, the rapture, yes, it's going to be that. But that is going to be in year 2044. Um, that's going to be leading up to year 2044. So I'm gonna, let me explain that part. But let me go back to um, the start of the seven-year tribulation. So during that seven-year period, of seven-year period, we're going to be... Some of us are going to be raptured. Some of us are going to still be on earth. And um, the ones that are on earth, they're going to pretty much be battling this these zombies and stuff like that. So all those zombie movies you see and people are literally um, trying to save their life, that's what's pretty much going to be happening. There will be a so-called cure, though, you guys, for the zombie thing, okay? So if you guys think about... <clears throat> if you guys think about... All of the vaccines, ooh, should I be able to say that? All of the axes, I like to say. If you guys think about all of the axes that um, uh, come out, um, it's always a cure. It's always something. So this is not going to be anything different. Um, another way to be injected by something that we have no idea of um, and another experiment for these um, evil rulers because they are relentless and... Um, they're not they're not for us they are definitely um the enemy um when it comes down to um this world this is satan's world okay so we are not to be of the world we're just living in it we're not to be of the world don't get mixed up with the world okay um we're here for a mission we're here for a purpose so yeah i know that i'm just being blunt about that we like to think that certain people are for us uh, you know but in reality you guys when we have the spirit of god we get to see through this stuff like everything that god has created is for us for anybody to try to keep us from the things of god is you gotta think is that is that god no because god said he has given us dominion over all things all things okay the foul of everything We've been given dominion, but when things get into the wrong hands, what happens? Chaos. So there will be a so-called cure for the zombie, but anyone who takes it will not know the dose they'll get, okay? Either they will die immediately or have superpowers or supernatural powers. Um, advise those to not take it unless they have unwavering faith. Now, when I read this, the Holy Spirit was like, yeah, that's that's some real stuff right there, okay? The emphasis on that is faith. It's impossible It's impossible to please God without faith. Everybody wants to think, why would a loving God do this? It's not, God had revealed to me as I was getting ready because I only had a short period of time uh, between 2.30 p.m. I mean, a.m. that I woke up this morning. And today is, I'll go into that later, but today is October 19th, 2024, by the way. But when the Lord was um, uh, pretty much um, revealing these things to me as I was getting ready, the Holy Spirit told me um, that, see, it's just trying to slip my mind, but um, the Holy Spirit told me that there's um, no coincidence, okay? Um, the things that happen to us, it's not, it's not, we look at it as things happening to us, but it's actually happening for us, okay? It says, um, all things work out for those who believe and trust and who love God and who are called according to his purpose, okay? Everything works out for our good. So if we're called, you guys. We have to not reject that. We have to, we have to seek God. It says first, seek the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things will be added onto us. All of these things is like our heart desires. The things that we want to see come to pass aka faith okay so faith 
um, is something that we have to have in order to please God and to get into the kingdom, right? Obviously, faith to believe that he's real. And, and, and um, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. And um, so we can have everlasting life. Okay, so you guys, this, um, this shot, um, you're going to have to um, take it through faith. And um, this can cure you, but you don't know the dose. And um, uh, so ultimately it can kill you, but I believe God is graceful and merciful. So when we trust in God and we have faith, it says we can be, we will be able to drink poison and not die. Okay. We will be able to cast out demons and, and um, in Jesus's name. So in Jesus's name, you will not die. Okay. In Jesus's name, you will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. You will be made whole. Um, Jesus has raised many people, you know, from the dead and he's cured many people on his, um, journey while he was on in this life and on earth doing his um, father's business. He cured people. So in Jesus name, it says we shall be able to do these things, greater things than Jesus did. We should be able to do greatest, greater things that Jesus did. Okay. That's what he said before he, he left to uh, be crucified. He was telling his disciples, you know, we are to be able to do these things, these things that he was showing us, um, mainly his disciples, but I don't know. They just still didn't get it. I was with Jesus. I was like, well, okay, good. You know, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Um, okay, so be mindful, you guys. Uh, uh, this is don't be fearful. Okay, be mindful, but don't be fearful because here's the thing. God didn't give us a spirit of fear, but of uh, peace and of a sound mind. And because I won't be able to edit this video, um, I'm on a cheap android phone you guys it's a free phone that i got and i received um and okay lord the lord's telling me i have been on assistance um, for some time and i must say this is not by accident i believe god had needed to sit me down because i was working my butt off for approximately um since 2009 so what we're in 2024 how many years is this like 12 years or however long straight and um uh no like 15 years. I don't know how many years that is, you guys. Do the math. But anyways, and um, I've been working myself, but the Lord um, called me to be an entrepreneur in 2009, and that's when I had enlightenment and revelations and things like that. And uh, long story short, I needed to be sat down in this time in my life right now. I'm in a small town, you guys, and it literally means the meaning of the name of this town that I'm in is it literally means devoted to God. God is my oath. No accident, okay? Says back there, God's plan. No accident. Nothing is by accident, okay? God is divine. He is just, and he is guiding us through our days each and every day. So um, when we trust in him and believe in him and his ways are better than our ways and that leads to our own understanding, we will be able to be guided by the comfort of the Holy Spirit, by Jesus, um, um, and by um, God's word, you get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you guys, we have to um, put on the full armor of God, which I'll get into that um, uh, that scripture at the end. But you guys, um, this is real. This is real. Um, let me get back on track. Um, this is, whew, okay. But yes, I, I've i been on assistance because um, uh, I was working myself running my spinning my wheels trying to get these things that the lord had put on the inside of me since i was a little girl out doing this doing that doing that in this entrepreneur realm and uh, but god was really just trying to get my attention and saying trust me trust me trust me you are not alone you do not have to force anything you do not have to do anything that's against me to receive what i have for you just sit down when it says Peace be still, that's what it means. Sit down, trust God, okay? Trust him in all his ways. And my nose is starting to get really stuffed up, but excuse me. Um, so moving forward, between April through October 2044, the second coming of the Son of God will take place. You don't know the day or the hour, so be prepared. So anywhere between April and October 2044, um, we don't know the day or hour, but, um, 
Jesus is coming back, okay? And um, this is what I've written down, you guys. I'm not making this stuff up. This stuff was written again August 18th of 2023. Of 2023. 2023, okay? So uh, this is war. Jesus comes back alongside with the chosen few, the angels and God's hand. We will fight the enemy. There will be nuclear bombs, total destruction, but the chosen will fight in silence in their bunkers or cellars because it says those who foresee evil hides themselves in the Bible. Um, because we will know what's coming, we as chosen ones, we're not going to just throw ourselves out into harm's way, right? We're going to seek refuge. <coughs> in our bunkers or cellars and uh <clears throat> guess what we're gonna fight with you guys oh hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah thank you jesus oh thank you jesus oh this gave me chills thank you jesus guess what we're gonna fight with it says we're fight is gonna be with prayers for humanity and god's people because prayers you guys Read it in our word, the Bible, the Bible itself. It says in the word of God, the Bible is sharper than any two ed double edged sword. Okay. It will pierce bone and marrow to the souls, uh, the wickedness of the wicked ones. So the chosen ones, when we come back, we're not going to try to be heroic. You know, we, I mean, by putting ourselves in harm's way, when we already know what's coming, we're going to be in silence peace be still and we're going to be put away okay and we're going to fight off the evil rulers of dark dark of darkness of this world by our prayers for humanity okay i don't like i said it's going to be between april and october of, two, of 2044 when this is the second company is going to happen i don't know it's going to be seven years tribulation so like i said three years of peace followed by three and a half years of war. So just keep that stuff in mind, you guys. Um, you'll know. If you're watching this video, if you save this video, if you share this video, just know, write this stuff down, but you'll know. I don't know. Who knows? It could be taken down. I don't know. But whoever sees this video for the time that it's up, and, uh, and hopefully it stays up for a good minute, but definitely take this stuff down. Uh, write it, save this video, do whatever you got to do. Um, but it says we will fight off by, um, we, the chosen ones that comes back with Jesus, we're going to be fighting off with the word, the word of God. Okay. We'll have the full armor of God on, but we'll be fighting with the, the two double edged sword right here, the Holy Bible. And then it says, after the war, there will be a new earth. You guys new fresh start for the next generations and chosen ones to come. And this is what kind of made me laugh. Total peace on earth until the next bad apple pops up. You know how they have that saying, history repeats itself? That's what it means. Because God has given us um, the ability to evolve into greatness. Because Jesus was just the, the beginning. Okay? Not the end. So when we are born again and when we are children of God... We have the power to create beauty, to take the spirit of God that we allow in us and move through this earth, through this world and do great things for God, for the kingdom, not for evil, not for our own will, not for the, our flesh to satisfy our flesh because that's of the enemy, but to do the will of God. OK, so there will be a time. Whatever that is, could be years and years, you know, a thousand years to the Lord is one day to us. One day to us is like a thousand years to the Lord, you know, something like that. But uh, there will be a time where it repeats, but we need to be set up for the next generations. We already been talking about the generations after like the the 80 babies, after I'm the eight, I'm an 80s baby, so 87. But we've already talked about how. The generation after us, they're kind of a little lost, you know, the era of social media, this and that, and um, just instant gratification, the metaverse or virtual reality, everything needs to be here. I can touch it, you know, great um, 
uh, inventions, right? But we have to look at things being used as tools and to help us um, advance the kingdom, not hinder or destruct the kingdom of God, which the kingdom of God will never be able to be destructed, but you, you get what I'm saying? We are trying to help people, each other, okay? That's why we're here, to love and help one another, you guys. It says, love, faith, hope, and love are the only three things that will remain when heaven and earth passes away. I'm sorry I won't be able to put these scriptures up. Like I said, I, this is raw. I'm just going to have to post it. I have a certain time frame to post this. Uh, it's 4.52 a.m. Um, and I have to post this by 6 a.m. Um, before these watch hours are finished because there's no coincidence. I woke up and I got started with, um, you know, doing all this during the watch hours between 3 and um, 6 or like important watch hours, you guys. So here 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 i am okay so i got through the list you guys i got through that list uh, i hope you guys were was i hope whoever has been watching this been uh writing this stuff down for future references but um i want to go into a little deeper meaning of everything because like i said nothing is by accident this is all divine and um god has given us wisdom knowledge and understanding if we ask for it and if we've been knocking at the door and, and seeking it and seeking his kingdom he will give these things to us you know god says ask and you shall receive knock and the door shall be opened so if you're watching this is no accident you've obviously been asking god for some signs and i know people want to think um i've been he hearing a lot more christians um that are you know on youtube or just speaking out about the word of god i um i definitely have been given the spirit of discernment and um some of them, you know, definitely are speaking the word, some of the word of God, but uh, we have to be very mindful and careful that we do not dismiss the things of God and, and downplay them as if God didn't know what he was doing. God knew exactly what he was doing when he created us and when he created this world and this earth and everything that's in it. Okay. So, um, uh, God is full of signs and wonders, okay? So at the end of the day, we have to be um, careful in who we give um, credit to and all things is um, credit due to, to God, the Most High, the Alpha and the Omega, okay? The beginning and the end because at the end of the day, um, God is the creator of all things and um, all things should be looked at as given in the light of good and what we can use this for good versus evil because a lot of things have been knocked off from the bible the word of god from god a lot of things have been knocked off or mocked and devalued into a separate um source or source of empowerment like empowerment movement like new age um stuff and all that but no this is this we gotta go back to the origin okay god so goodness, uh, not used for evil or our own selfish, you know, like I keep saying, desires and stuff. But yeah, I got through the list, you guys. Um, and I'm going to go into the deeper meaning. So um, August 18th, 2023, when I wrote this down, um, adding up, um, God is an orderly God. Okay, so numerology biblically is is not of doubt the devil you guys it's not um it's not new it's not new age stuff now what they're doing you how they're using it and stuff it says people in the last and evil days people will have power and deny the power and where uh, the power of god okay so people are gonna seem like they're this and that but they're not giving credit to where credit is due they're not giving honor and glory to god for the one who gives us the power, okay? It says they, the power comes from the Holy God, okay? The Holy Spirit. So at the end of the day, don't be deceived. You know, God gives us these messages and signs and the angels are angels and guardian angels watches over us and they will put something in our path and we'll see it and we'll dismiss it. It's like, ah, what a coincidence. But when we are truly connected to God and willing to do his will and be a vessel to God, we'll take everything that we see um, in, in um, 
We'll take it. We'll take everything. Thank you, Lord. We'll take everything to God. We'll take it all to God. We'll say, God, what is this? What is the meaning of this? What is the purpose of this? What are you trying to tell me? What are you trying to get to me? What what message are you trying to get across to me? So that's what I've been doing over the years of practicing more and more as things has just been seeming like, dang, what? Wait, hold up. I just dreamt about that and this is now happening and things like that. So yeah. So um August 18th, 2023, which was a Friday that I wrote this. The numbers of that date, which is um, August, which is the uh, eighth month, um, one eight, which is the 18th, one plus eight is nine. Um, so eight August plus nine plus 2023 equals seven. That equaled up to the number 24. The number 24 meaning, meaning um, the road um, to success is just in front of you and your angels are sending a message of encouragement so you can put one foot in front of the other this number has a lot of energy around around balance harmony partnership stability protection passion and clear-headed direction i underlined clear-headed direction because i'm clear on what god wants me to he do here on earth now because i had to be sat down because i had to stop leading to my own understanding and working working in this world that when we die, what is what are we here? For? What what was I working for, just to floss, just to show like, oh look at this, or was I working to show, here Lord, this was for you, this is for your kingdom, because I'm trying to make it to the gates, you guys. I'm not trying to be turned around, saying, huh, get away from me. I did not know you. Okay, I want to be a good and faithful servant. So, at the end of the day, that's what that means, you guys. No coincidence, but Thursday was when God uh, revealed all of this stuff to me, okay? August 17th, 2023 is when God revealed all of this stuff to me. I just didn't write it down until the next day. But uh, the number 23, whoo, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. This is crazy. This is the first time I've ever shared anything quite like this, like deep and intense like this, you guys. I shared a little quick reel to my Instagram about these days coming that like last year um I, I talked about these things happening and coming but um it was very brief and you know how that is but this is very 